the Stafford Competition Gym, we are hosting the first Lego League, where we have done so for the last 10 years. Over 64 schools are participating in this competition. Well, it happened about 10 years ago when the University of Houston used to host it, and so they used to coordinate it. So they came over to do a site visit, and they said, oh my God, you guys have the perfect school because you have four gyms. Back before they start hosting it here, it used to happen over a weekend. So it took two days to do what we do in one day. And that's because we have the four gyms to accommodate all the teams. This is the state championship. Teams will go to a local qualifier event, and from there they can advance to a regional championship. From there they advance to state, which is here today, and from today I think we send one team to the world championship in April. Well, this is the first Lego League program. It's one of several programs with the first program. FIRST stands for For Inspiration and Recognition in Science and Technology, and this goes from ages 9 through 14. The season begins in August. That's when the game is released. At that time, each team registers with the FIRST headquarters, and they receive this challenge pack. This has several missions on it, but more importantly, this is more than just the robot. There's an innovation project that goes along with it. This year's innovation project relates to uh, trying to bring a hobby to help more people to understand about the hobby. So we saw a lot of great uh, innovation projects, as well as they have to give us the engineering design process on how they came up with the solution for that project. The, they have 15 missions across the board. Yeah, 15. And uh, they are presented with more challenges than they can do in two and a half minutes. And it is up to each individual team to focus on uh, however they want to strategize to score points. Teams will group uh, their runs in what's called mission runs. And so they'll start in home and then they'll go here, they'll go over there. They'll send the robot across the field and the robot will go back over here. But there's no like true, like you go here, then there, then there. It's every team's runs are different. Participating in the first Lego League competition encompassed collaboration, critical thinking, um, team building, and also it touches on social and emotional skills where kids can have empathy for each other as they work together to compete those challenges. You definitely can't do those challenges without working together. So these type of skills uh, that they learn from doing these challenges, they can bring into their classrooms, into their homes, with their families. So it's more than a robot. These are the top 64 teams in the state of Texas, and several of them are going to go on to be represented in April at the George R. Brown Convention Center for the World Festival. Woohoo, Texas! Come on and learn more about it. this year at Stafford Municipal School District. These type of competitions that First Lego League is hosting and that we're hosting for them, we do daily here at Stafford in the classroom. We have a state-of-art robotics lab at the STEM Magnet Academy. Uh, we do ro robotics uh, clubs after school. The high school, Stafford High School, has a robotics team. So this is the type of work skills that happens every day uh, in, at Stafford America, like we like to say. But here at Stafford, this is the school district, the best school district in Texas.